Hey guys, so I just picked up my car from the dealership. Um, I just got some work done on it. Um, I had to replace the battery and replace the coil, the engine coil. Um, so, so far it's running well, like everything looks good. Um, and then now I'm about to clean um, an apartment. So my roommate's co-worker, um, well my roommate's mom used to clean her co-worker's house for a while um but they moved away so he was looking for somebody else and he was gonna go to um like a, a company or something like that but she told him like oh like my roommate used to uh be like a professional cleaner so you know if you want like I can ask her it'll probably be like a little bit more um affordable or whatever so um I cleaned when he moved out of his last apartment and he liked my work, so I'm gonna go and clean for him. Um, I'm gonna be kind of rushing. I mean, I'm still gonna do a good job, but I wanna be kind of rushing because um, we got, because I had to pick up my car before, because I have to train somebody after this too. Um, so because I had to pick up my, had to pick up my car that pushed it back. Um, so yeah, and then she wasn't feeling well, so like when, cause she, my roommate took me to go get my car. So she wasn't feeling well. So she had to do something when she came on lunch. And then, <clears throat> and then, um, after she was like, okay, I'm, you know, I'm ready. I can take you. Then, you know, I had to get my car and pay and wait for them to bring it and all that. So I'm going to try and do this quick, but effective, you know, still a good clean, um, so, yeah, and I'm probably going to have to, so he doesn't get back until, like, 5.30ish. Um, so, what I might do is clean as much as I can and then take a break, go train my client, and then come back and try to finish before he gets off work. Um, but, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs> If you're seeing this, I have successfully changed my tire. I'm telling you, I don't want no more crazy stuff happening to cars this year. But you know what? I have a rant, but also like a new way to look at this later after I change this doggone tire. Okay, I'll talk to y'all later though. showing y'all where I'm walking because I'm walking in my neighborhood um, but I'm about to go pick up my car <laughs> from the tire shop okay um, so if y'all know um, or if y'all been watching y'all know that I had I think I said something about it I have um, I just got my car repaired and it was in the um, in the shop for like a day or two um, and it was supposed to be there longer but well the lady originally told me that it wasn't going to be fit like they weren't going to get the parts until like today or like I don't know if they're open Sunday but maybe Sunday or Monday for reference it's Saturday right now um, in the evening but yeah so I decided to get like all my classes stuff for the weekend 
and I think like Monday morning just in case you know I'd rather get it subbed and not need it than to wait until last minute and be like oh crap my car's still in the thing and everybody be like well why didn't you say nothing like that's just how I am um and uh like all the places that I work at they're cool because they know like how I am and they know I love to work so if I'm calling off like they know it's something like for real for real and of course they appreciate that I'm doing things like ahead of time and being proactive um but I thought I was gonna get my car um early so I'll tell y'all what happened so the lady called me I think yesterday um saying or no the I don't know all my days are mixed up but the lady called me early I'll just say it like that she called me early saying oh well instead of us having to order the part that we needed um, we were able to get it from a nearby Kia dealership so it's ready so um, I went to pick up the car everything was running fine like you know but something told me because I was gonna go out of town and something told me like test it like don't go out of town don't like don't commit, even though I had my car early, I was gonna call my other job and be like, hey, actually, I don't need that sub, like, you know, I can make it. Something was like, no. Like, test it, and then if it works, then you can do all that. So, everything was good. Every All the work they did has been good, even up till now. So yeah, all the stuff they did so far, so good. Um, I went and did some ride sharing yesterday uh, while I actually while I was like editing like I edited my video and then I did some ride sharing and Like literally as I was finishing I was like maybe three minutes away from my house and Something well, no my tire pressure light came on so I was thinking okay, you know I haven't rode it the weather whatever whatever so I was like let me find a Wawa or somewhere that has free um, air So something told me no pull over it now like something it was like pull over now so i went to like the closest like gas station whatever and i was like you know i'm paying for air i'm not gonna go worry about free air y'all my whole tire was like flat i mean flat flat like um uh, i just had like one thing about me is like i'm gonna make everything like kind of funny like i'm gonna joke about it whatever like i'm not gonna take it too serious so I'm out there like late at night and you know I decided like it's not safe to try to drive home because it was my front wheel too so you know it's just not safe so I was like okay I'm gonna change the tire so I go <laughs> to like check out like if I have a spare which I remember they told me I did and they showed me but then I was like crap I don't think I have a jack and I didn't look I was just like thinking like, okay, I know I have a spare. Do I have a jack? I was like, no. So then I went in the store because they have like fluid and like oil and stuff like that. So I was like, oh, um, I asked the guy, I was like, hey, do you have a jack? <laughs> I asked him and he just looked at me funny the first time. And then he had a little accent. So I figured like, oh, maybe he don't understand me. Like, you know, not even trying to be funny, like maybe. And I don't speak that clear anyway, and I don't speak that loud. So I'm like, yeah, he probably definitely, definitely don't understand me. So I repeated it, and he's like, no, but he kind of said it like, you know, like looking at me funny. So then I went back out and I started looking on YouTube, like how to change your tire uh, without a jack. And then in one of the videos, when they opened up the like car or whatever, because Mind you, I have not checked. Like, I knew it was there because I've seen my um, fare before. Um, but I have not looked back there yet. So I went to um, look at the videos. And when he opened up his um, Kia, which is the kind of car I have, um, it already had everything in there. So, so again, something told me, yo, maybe you have it too. Like... Because my car is used, so I was like, well, maybe they took it out. I don't know. So I looked back there, and I did have a jack. Now, this is after, like, many minutes of me, because I have, like, a little emergency pack that I bought, and then I have an emergency pack that um, the person who sold me the car gave me, like, from the dealership. So I was trying to see if there was a jack in there. There wasn't. But 
there was in the actual car with the spare and all the tools that I needed. So I looked on YouTube, long story short, I looked on YouTube and I learned how to change the tire right then and there. But it was so funny because the guy, he was like using his arms to just take it off, like easy from the video. And I was scared to do the wrong thing because I don't know that much about cars. So when it wasn't bulging, I kept stopping because I was like, maybe I'm doing it wrong and I don't want to mess up my car. So I looked up like how to change, like something about like the lug nuts being stuck or whatever. So then some guy, another guy was like, oh, it's not working. Like, you know, on the YouTube was talking about like, hey, here's another way. So he was saying something about an electric tool that I didn't have. And then he said that you couldn't like step on it, like use your legs. And I was like, yeah, because I'm a woman. Like, yeah, strong and independent woman, but I'm still a woman. So I was like, I'm going to have to use my legs. So I was literally jumping on the little wrench, like, you know, standing on it so that I could unloosen the lug nuts. It was so crazy and it was so funny. And like, luckily nobody was really around to see me, but it would have been funny. <laughs> like just looking at like, what is that girl doing in the middle of the night, jumping on her car, like leaning on the car so that I can get So yeah, it was funny, but long story short i got i i figured it out so now i know how to change a tire i'm officially like i don't know i'm officially not really superwoman but officially an independent woman <laughs> i guess but yeah i was proud of myself but it was scary like before i did it it seemed like a big scary task but after like while i was doing it like i literally stopped at every like every little thing he said i stopped because i was like i don't know what i'm doing um but yeah guys i would i would look it up like especially ladies like i would definitely learn how to change your own tires you know in case you're ever stranded or in the middle of the night where nothing's open or you know you don't have nobody to call so that's my story so I'm back in my car everything looks good the pressure light is off so I mean the tire looks good and everything so I'm about to uh, go home real quick um, shower and run some errands I might do some ride sharing um, editing all that fun stuff um, but yeah I'm just excited to have my car back and um like i said especially if you're a lady like or well, anybody but you know if you don't know how to change a tire i feel like that's something to at least like look at the video and learn just in case you're like me and you're like out there by yourself but um actually even though i said like that i didn't have nobody to call that's kind of a lie <laughs> so um <laughs> it's funny though because after I like changed it my friend texted me um we were just talking and they were like what you doing and I'm like um oh, changing my flat tire and like I didn't say it as like oh come help me or anything. like I didn't even think to be like hey like can you help me or hey can you whatever I didn't even think that and like they ended up coming and then taking me to get something to eat because by that time I was like tired or whatever um and then you know whatever but i'm like yo like and they i kind of well not whatever i kind of got like not yelled at but kind of like friendly yelled at because they were like yo you could have like called me and i would have like helped you and so you weren't out here by yourself like next time call me like and i was like oh yeah true like but that's just how I am, and it's not an excuse because I could have saved myself time, and, you know, luckily I was in a well-lit place and I was safe, but still, like, I could have saved myself um, time and stuff like that, and it causes my family to worry, like, well, my sister to worry, mainly, because I don't ask for help, but it's not even like a, um, like a, what do you call it? Like, it's not even like a pride thing, it's just that I don't 
think to ask because I've always like done for myself. So I just don't even think like, oh, who can I call? I just immediately went into, okay, how can I learn how to do this right now? Like as soon as I realized like the shops aren't open or whatever, whatever, like I just immediately went into like do, do, do mode. And I, I know I need to like grow out of that and like unlearn that, but it takes time. But yeah, I'm about to go home and I will catch up with y'all later. Bye. Guess who got a present? Guess who got a present? Okay, so as y'all probably know, um, I didn't already unwrap this <laughs> and peeked in it before um, now. So, yeah, I tried to wrap it up and make it look back cute, but yeah. Um, so, I got me a little card. Sorry, guys. I um, Let me turn that over. I hurt my... <laughs> I hurt my finger earlier today, and but that's another story. Um, let me show y'all what. I so I got a Christmas card, or not a Christmas card, a card that says thank you, and then it says, "Hey Bianca, I hope you like your Christmas present made with love for you and need." So sweet. So this is one of my um, old. Uh, clients um from a gym i used to work at um, and then she got me a water bottle and so this water bottle is actually very special to me because not only did she get my name on it but she also got dragonflies and i used to always wear a dragonfly fly necklace yeah, i really like the um design and the bee is so cute um, and I was, like, looking at it. I was like, oh, this is so pretty. And then I looked closer, and I saw that it's a dragonfly. And I used to always wear, um, I'm trying to get it into focus. But I used to always wear a dragonfly necklace. Um, so I think that's where she got that from. So that's so sweet that she, like, remembered me and remember like what I will like what I wore and stuff like that so that's so sweet and look at that that's so beautiful um so I'm really grateful for that and that'll be cool because you know I always am running and I always need to drink water and you know I just thought it was really really thoughtful and she got me some straws and you guys saw the card so I'm super super grateful thank you and need um and then I got this um pen from there also and actually I'm gonna shout them out because I don't know I'm just in the mood this is not sponsored um, but I just wanted to shout them out because I really like this um, so if you liked my um, oh that's just the instruction but yeah if you liked this and you would want something similar then go check them out like I said this is not um sponsored i just am sharing it because i really like this is so beautiful and so thoughtful and it's just so nice and you know i don't i don't know the process that they went through or whatever but you know uh my client um really really uh put a lot of thought into this and this wonderful creator really brought that to life so yeah go check them out also, she um, put some stickers inside. Um, I love when they do that, when they put that in the um, in the package. I just think it's so cute, and it adds, like, a little pizzazz to the package. Um, I'm probably going to put this on, like, my laptop case or some books or something like that. But these are so cute. Um, but, yeah, if you, um, if you liked the cup, um, go ahead and check her out. Like I said, this is not sponsored and nobody asked me to do this. I'm just in the Christmas or holiday spirit. And like I said, I can tell that my friend, I'm just going to call her my friend because that's what she is now, um, put a lot of uh, thought into this. And I felt like this company really brought that to life. So yeah. All right. Bye.